What's up everybody, welcome back to Malabar Tour where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to show you how to make body burners out of a tuna can. Let's check this out. What's up Hugo? Uh, look at this puppy, Hugo just wanted to say hi. Look how big he is now. He's like 65 pounds already now, this is insane isn't it? For this experiment we're going to need aluminum can, wax or candle, knife or scissors and piece of cardboard. We got here this tall of piece of cardboard, we're gonna roll it up so I'm just gonna cut it right at the tip. Actually I'm gonna cut it about halfway. Then let's measure cardboard. Gonna cut it about right here. That looks good. Then I'm just going to roll it up. And then I'm gonna stick it into aluminum foil can, just like this, boom. Next we simply need to melt wax. You can do it with a candle like this, you see we dripping wax into this can. But it takes a while. What I would do is melt wax in a stove and then pour it in. So let's do that instead. I got here portable stove and I'm go what I'm gonna do is just shake some wax in there. As you can see that little piece over there is melting. It's pretty much done. Okay, I can just turn it off and move, move it to the side of the stove. And then what I'm gonna do is just pour all that hot wax into the skin really, really carefully. You probably wanna see what it looks like. You see how hot this wax is? Oh yeah. It's cooling off. Oh yeah, look at this. Probably need some more. Here you go. You see how it goes all the way to the top. We want to have as much wax as we can all the way to the top. You see it? This is what we want. Nice. You see I even overfilled a little bit. As you can see it's still really hot and it's so liquid inside of it. So we need to wait till it cools off. Okay this body burners are ready to go. We're just gonna set it on fire. One and the tuna one. Two. Just get that paper on fire. And it's going to burn for a long long time because it's sucked in with wax. So it's a perfect candle and a stove. If you want to cook something, all you have to do is just build something to where you can hang a pot over it or set up a pot over it. It will boil water no problem. It will burn a while. And when you're done cooking or you don't want the fire anymore, all you have to do is just blow it and it will blow out easily. Easy. If it burns for a long time, it will be hot to the touch. So if you like camping or you are a doomsday prepper, this is, would be perfect for you to do on the weekends. This is awesome. So you can make one of those, store it in your bag out bag or like camping bag. It will save you a lot of time on starting a fire or you can even cook with these things. Awesome. If you like this video, please thumbs up. Let me know in comments below what do you think and I'll see you next time. And now I'm gonna take it out and see what happens. Boom, and it burnt out. Crazy, huh? I'm gonna lay it 